Good morning from first time ever in Martinique. I'm gonna show you this, then I go. I'll see if I can find Mrs. Canuck. We'll get this day started. I just finished having some coffee with some group cruisers and now we're gonna get our day started. Let's go get some breakfast and get off and explore this beautiful island. We are playing Journey of the Secret Word once again. In this video, you're looking for one of 10 letters for this vlog series. We are excited to announce that Level 8 will be rewarding the winner with a piece of luggage. Good luck, everybody. Time to find some breakfast. Those are always Egg. good. Right there, Egg McMuffins and croissant. Looks like they're stuffed with eggs. Those ones, that's pretty cool. And these little weird things, I haven't had the nerve to try yet. Egg and cheese sandwich, I think they're called. Or just a plain egg salad sandwich, if you like. It's time to graze the breakfast buffet and do fruit versus bacon. <laughs> fruit and bacon's right across the way. Not bad. Only one or two people heading for bacon, but nobody at fruit still. All right, so we're at the buffet. It's a packed house, hardly an empty table here. So I grabbed a little medley of stuff. I've got some bacon, a French toast, a little hash brown. And this says it is an egg and ham breakfast sandwich on a croissant. And of course, look what I found. I love this, smoked salmon. Okay, what's that look like to you? Breakfast beans, some scrambled eggs for a tata, sausage. And I have to show you how to eat this croissant, I think. There you go. This is how you eat a croissant. Off we go to Martinique for the first time. I'm already on going ashore mode with the sunglasses and the hat. Although my hat was a little tight for some reason, so I'm hoping the water or something shrank it lately. Otherwise my head is getting fatter as I continue to eat on the cruise ship. Blame it on the pogos, that's what I say. Getting way, this way. Uh, bonjour, Martinique. Je pense que je t'adore. Here we go. First steps ever in Martinique. Just happened. There you go. Ooh la la. Comment ça va? Tu ne parles pas français? No. No français? No. Uh oh. Where'd she go? I lost Mrs. Canuck again. She's back there. Looks like a cute little town. I see a little church in the distance. And I see a building that looks way out of place. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you what that looks like. Someone oddly put that building in the middle of this cute little town here. And you see the church spire in the distance. A little view of the colorful port area here in Martinique. I believe there's a name for this town. Do we remember what it is? Porto France, I think. Let's go with that until I decide otherwise. I think I see a fort over there. Past the sailboats too. So we're strolling around the port area of Martinique. And Martinique is part of France. It's a, I believe like a colony extension of France. And uh, so as a result, it, the main currency that's in use here is the Euro. Though I'm pretty sure they do take uh, American dollars at the vendors here. Cause there's so many folks in North America that come here. And there's also ferries. Right off, actually beside me right in here, just right at the port, I think there's three different ferry companies that can shuttle you by water to a couple of different towns that are in the area. So anyways, we're gonna keep exploring, hunting around. I see the church spires right in front of me. I also see a McDonald's. I've never been to a McDonald's in Martinique before. See this? When you have the crosswalks. I'm used to like, no-go is red. Hold on, I think the, I think, think it's actually given us permission to go. I think the traffic just stopped. No. I think, no, the walking guy is green, oh. I can see. <laughs> okay. Ooh, McDonald's food in Martinique. Tasty bacon barbecue. I went in to show you the menu, but the menu board is broken. It's all electronic. So, no menu from here for me. Church. It's quite the impressive looking church. I'm not sure we can get inside it though or not. We're gonna, big, huge, monstrous doors, but they're not open. When is she taking a picture of? Mm. Church. What do you think? Does everything look better with 360? Let's find it.
Nice and cool. Refreshing. Come on. Look what I found. I found French pastries in Martinique. They look delicious. What'd you find? Ready? Yeah, look at the little bracelet and rings. They're cute. You had the best bracelets. Very nice bracelets. I know, thank, thank you. So you. Much. Oh, <laughs> I, did, I hadn't even looked at the bracelets. That wouldn't have been hot at all, paddling around. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, we are back on the ship from Martinique. A hot, humid, oh. thankfully a little windy. So hot. <laughs> Whew. Time to cool down, get a cold drink, and eat again. Down we go to deck seven. I think we're gonna try a little bit of Jeezy's again for lunch. Now that we're cooled off, but we still need that cool drink. Mrs. Canuck, she's long gone. <laughs> she's gonna get that drink before me for sure. Okay, so we're here at Gigi's and the appetizer has arrived. Mm -hmm. And we're sharing just the uh, antipasto plate. By sharing, she means she's gonna eat most of it. <laughs> as I nibble on little taste samplers. That's true. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Lunch has arrived. Which side do you think is mine, and which side do you think is Mrs. Canucks? There's two sides here. Mm. One looks Hawaiian. Yeah. One looks I like would... a mishmash of vegetables and meats. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if you come up with the right answer for that. We're not going to tell you. Uh oh, she's grabbing her side. Let me turn the camera off. Hmm. This smells delicious. Wish you were here to try it. This is the apple tart at Gigi's. I'm going to give that a try. We've never had it here before. Oh my goodness. Nice. Hmm. Oh, that's so good. A warm vanilla custard with some fresh apples and pastry. Very delicious. I don't know why I haven't had this before. What'd you find? I found a duck on the staircase and it's, I don't have my glasses on, <laughs> but it says it was brought, it's from Brockville, Ontario, Canada. Quackalations, you found a cruising duck. Keep it or hide it. Brought from you from Corinne, from Brockville, Ontario. Sailed on February 6th. We're gonna check out the retreat pool next, but I suspect it's gonna be really busy. But we'll see if we have to relocate somewhere else. by the retreat pool and you never guess what Mrs. Canuck is doing. Let me show you. I give away my secrets. Mm. I might be filling out thank you cards for the fellow cruisers that have joined us on our first ever Cruising Canucks group cruise. So we got back from port, had a little dip in the pool, a little margarita, time to get a little work in before we meet up with everybody for cocktails later. Heading downstairs, we hear rumors that people have taken over our secret spot. We're gonna go check that out and kick them out of there. Mm -hmm. Off we go to the secret spot to see who stole it. And we tracked you. 
No, we need to track uh -oh. you. I couldn't find you. But I saw your post. I'm like, on my way, Jerry, let's go. We were up in the retreat in this, and we Someone walked took out our and secret had a spot. spot so. uh -oh. we, look who took over our secret spot, guys. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could spend just about all day long just hanging out here, staring across to Martin Lee. Beautiful little spot here. So we weren't able to evict the people from our secret spot. So we just joined them instead. Had a drink, enjoyed the views across Martinique here in Porto, France, I think it's called. Now we have to go get ready for the evening's activities. Back to the cabin we go. Bonjour. Oh, speaking a little French since we're officially in France today, right? Yeah, we're still in French territory. Mm -hmm. In Martinique. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Porto, France. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of French being spoken, lots of French signs, so very Absolutely. French. Very, very, very French, yeah, for sure. Lives up to the billing, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And a cute little village, really beautiful, tucked in these like rolling hills and valleys going off in the distance. And there's this big modern strange building in the middle of town. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't feel like it fit in with the whole Caribbean island vibe. It's very, very modern. It looked like something you would expect to see in Toronto, New York, LA, that sort of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. crowded little streets. You just wandered around over towards the fort along the water. There was lots of people getting set up, vendors, I mean. Uh, it is the Carnival mm -hmm. for, uh, for Martinique that's going on over the last few days and today and tomorrow. I believe. So there was supposedly parades and some burlesque type of stuff today in some of the parades and costumes. I'm sure it would have been amazing, but we really couldn't find out what it was going on. We never did see it from the boat happening either, so I'm mm. not sure where it was going on, but I don't. We were just outside a half an hour ago and it still looked like it hadn't started yet. So I'm thinking it's probably gonna happen when we're sailing away, but we're not sure. <laughs> so yeah, we wanted to get footage of that if we could, but we really don't think it happened in a way that we could have gotten ported, so. We miss Carnival. Yeah. Maybe it happens tonight. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Anyways, so we went to the pool instead, relaxed, cooled off because it was a hot one today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost 30 degrees Celsius, even warmer with the humidity. Luckily, there was a breeze, but if you went into town with the small, narrow streets and the church that you saw there, the breeze stopped, so we had to get back to shore. <laughs> uh -huh, for sure. And now we're off for a fun night of, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, well, there you go. Stuff. I think we're going to might be see Elton John tonight. We will be. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I believe after that there might be some 80s party dancing. Jack party tonight, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to be heading back outside into the stars this time for a little bit of dancing. Yay. Looking dancing, forward to it. Dancing that I know, that I was trained on. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> we'll have to see all of Mr. Knipp's good moves tonight then. <laughs> Not the good moves, but their moves. <laughs> Speaking of moving, let's move out of here and get going for a pre-dinner drink. Come along. Tonight's going to the Vista Lounge, 80s party and dinner dress will be a white little number purchased in Antigua. It has lace on the bottom and on the sleeves. It is shoulderless, accompanied by a white clutch. And I'm wearing white kind of as well, but some fancy flowers across the chest. Makes the pecs stand out, I think. Okay, we are here at the Vista Lounge. I see snacks ahead and drinks at the bar, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Tonight we have some sushi and I believe those are arancini balls there. A the little marinara sauce, monster pretzels, more sushi, cheese, fruit, veggies. Okay, the gang's so all here. So there's a reason, ladies, why this dress is being worn tonight. I bought this dress the last time I was in Antigua, so that's why I picked Antigua for our shopping trip. Well, Au revoir, Martinique. It's been fun while it's lasted. Hopefully in the future we'll have a chance to get a little bit farther into the island and explore. Santorini dining room. My favorite hostess. <laughs> We're here, princess dinner, main dining room. And a couple interesting different starters. So I might have some new options there. Regular pastas and the mains. And again, some really good options there. Mm. So we're in the main dining room tonight having another dinner with a group of people. We have a table for 10 tonight. To my left I have Bruce and Tawny. Patty and Greg are joining us tonight. There we go. Denise and Reg are here. <laughs> and Jenny and Ruthie. And of course I brought Mr. Canuck along. 
Okay, first appetizer has arrived. I'm having the pot stickers. And what do you have? And I am having the Asian sesame salad. Second appetizer has arrived. It is the cherry tomato bruschetta. It can be interesting. It's got yogurt on the bottom, which I've never had on a bruschetta. So you give this a try. <laughs> Okay, I have the vegetarian dish tonight, the vegetable biryani. Smells delicious if you can smell this through the camera. And what are you having? I'm having the roasted turkey. It came with sweet potatoes, and I'm not a fan of sweet potatoes, so they supplemented it for a baked potato for me. My dessert has arrived, and everybody seems to be looking at it. <laughs> it is the sugar free We're about to all try it. red wine sauce, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's healthy and looks good. It looks delicious. I'm doing my creme brulee again tonight. Okay, we are done with dinner. We are. And we are going to try to get to the theater because we have to go see Elton John now. Mm-hmm. So, they're doing two shows really quick back to back so then they can have time for the 80s party up on deck. Yes. So we'll show you some of the Elton John stuff because I think we can videotape that. Let's go. We are here in the Princess Theater waiting for Benny and the... Rest. What? Rest? Benny and the rest. Mm-hmm. I forgot the name of the gentleman that uh, does the mm. Elton John imitation. Mm. I might have to look at my phone. I took the picture of him, mm. of the he's, poster. He's pretty good, so. Mm-hmm. We, <laughs> we, it's Jason. His name is Jason. Oh, wow, this air conditioning's nice Ooh, here. Air conditioning on this boat. Ooh, hot, humid, windy, and fun outside. Ah, uh, so much fun. Oh, we gotta push the buttons. Uh-huh. Do the go. elevator lottery. <laughs> They're all pushed now. Okay, back to the cabin. 
<laughs> behind the scenes. Oh man, the even, wind was good, the knots I, are a thing. Even at the end of the night when it's time for bed, she's brushing her hair so she looks good going to bed. Yeah, no, it's just trying to get out some of the knots so that I would be able to get up and go tomorrow. But wow. Mm. Anyways. Mine's good now. I think I got it. Me too. <laughs> just coming from the 80s party. We are. Yes. So much fun. So much fun. Yep. People getting up dancing. I always find it really funny because when they do kind of the structured line dances, a few people get up, mm -hmm. but a lot of people still sit in the wings and they look, uh, and then as soon as that ends and people just get up and they just start dancing to the music on their own, then that's when the fun begins. It's so true. And you know, when we were on Morella, they had zero line dancing and the dance floor was packed the whole time. So maybe that's a note. Kind of, it's funny. Cut out I, the structured oh, line dancing. It was funny. We had a couple of people that are similar age that lived through the eighties. They were like, there was no line dancing in the eighties. Like, what do we do? Doing this why, why are they doing the electric slide in the, into 80s music? That didn't make sense. So to once us. we kicked out the fun squad, <laughs> the passengers had a great oh, time. We didn't kick yes. them out, they, but they joined in in our fun for sure. Mm -hmm. And before that, there's something else we we're going to tell everybody, but I forget what it was. We lost it. <laughs> I know what what we were talking uh, at our group dinner tonight, and I was explaining what we had done in the day, and I had said that we went to Gigi's for a second time this cruise, and we just shared yes. an appetizer, a pizza, and a dessert. Delicious. It was the first time we had ever saved room to try dessert at Gigi's, and so we ordered the apple tart, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do, I wasn't even really hungry for dessert. I just tried a forkful, and I was like. Wow, that yeah. was like really good. Probably the best dessert I've had all week. Yes, I would yeah. agree. Yeah. Definitely, if you're getting on a princess ship, try the the apple tart on, or dessert on the Gigi's restaurant menu. It is a cross between Holland America's um, bread pudding because it's the sauce has the same sort of flavor and consistency, but it's on an apple tart with some fresh, beautiful apples and the and the uh, filling is just it's wonderful. Yeah, mm -hmm. best dessert I've had so far this week. Bit of a follow-up on the Martinique parade thing. I think we mentioned a couple times. It was eventually a parade, but it was actually just shortly before it was sail-away time. So yeah. I don't think hardly anybody saw it at all, if anybody... We had there. to be all on board by 4, and they said it was supposed to schedule to, to start at 3.45. And uh, some people that were on land at that point said it still hadn't started when they left to come back. So, yeah. And I kind of thought that just from when we were out walking around to see how far it was for preparation so so that's the update on that mm -hmm. dinner was good we had a dinner with another bunch of uh, people we've been doing like a table of 10 every night with eight guests mm -hmm. with us mm -hmm. and lots of fun getting to know everybody kind of one-on-one -on -one, which is yeah. really really nice yeah yeah definitely something i think future group cruises must have again because you really get to connect with people when you can sit down yeah. and have a meal with them yeah especially you know some people that are a little maybe more shyer than others so getting to see them and have a conversation in a smaller group atmosphere seems to be um yeah, we're, we're enjoying it, and they seem to be also. Last thing we did, we're going all over the place here. Mm. Elton John tonight. Oh, right. So, it's funny. I had some feedback from people when I was up there on the dance floor about it, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, and a lot of people were like, eh. Mm. A lot of people were, like, over the top about it. Mm. I think he did a good job singing the songs. He's, I just think it, it wasn't singing. as engaging as we've seen other people on Princess do. We had, this was a different person. We thought it was the same. Yeah, we thought it was the same man, but it was definitely a different performer doing the same show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, a little less engaged with the crowd. Still really good piano player and singer. Phenomenally yeah. talented. But, yeah. yeah, he didn't have so much... Um, yeah, he, he, he like he says, he's, he's not... Talking. He's not... A, He's not an Elton John impersonator. No. He just sings Elton John songs and keeps the, the spirit of the song alive. Whereas right. I think who we saw before was actually an impersonator that did all he could to come across as Yeah, Elton when John. he spoke, he spoke with a British accent and all of that. It wasn't until the very end of the show that he came out of his sort of persona and spoke about where he was from in the yeah. U.S. and that sort of thing. So yeah, it was a different experience. Very talented singer. If you love Elton John, you would just appreciate how well he did with it all for sure. That's all we have. That now is. it's bedtime. I don't know what time it is. It's getting close to midnight again. Mm -hmm. This These group people are keeping us up. <laughs> I'm averaging like five hours sleep a night. <laughs> uh, Maybe I'll get six tonight. It has been such a blast. I just, you know, we have Jerry and I have been talking about this as the sort of progress of this group cruise. We didn't know what we were getting into when we planned this. We had a lot of people saying, what does this look like? Really, we really have no idea. We've never taken part in a group cruise and we definitely haven't planned one. Um, but we have been so blessed with so many amazing people and we have just been receiving so much um, 
enjoy me getting to know everybody and love and support from everybody. So it's just been a wonderful time. Yeah, for those that were on the group cruise that are watching this back, hopefully you had a good time watching it back as you did when you were here. Yeah. Probably not, but it's at least it reminds you of the good times for real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're calling it good night. Tomorrow's Antigua. Mm -hmm. Antigua. Antigua. And that's another day. We need to get some sleep. We're doing something special. And nummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See what that means tomorrow. Yeah. See you in the morning. Good night. Night. <laughs>